Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how can you how you can quickly create some normal maps and texture maps for your high poly or low poly model. So here we have this high poly model of shotgun, and I also created a low poly version of it. Uh, and to show how much polygons are used for uh, this model you can go under utilities and click on more and click on polygon counter and now if we select the, all the subtools of this model and click on count polygons we can see we have 844 polygons which is good for great for game software and now if we go back to high poly version and we click on it we can see we have say 785,000 polygons which means it is more detailed uh, and appropriate for presentation but not for games so uh, first we have to create uh, first we have to create uh, a UV maps for all these subtools and I already have this created. I'm not going to show you uh, how you can create it here. But I use the unwrap UVs and use this text tool, which is great for fast, fast uh, unwrapping your model. I'm going to post the link below so you can download it. It's great. And I have also applied the turbo smooth on three iterations. And this is pretty much it. I grouped it and export it. Export selected and save it as OBJ. You can name it and save it. So after you uh, created this uh, UV maps for high poly model, you can copy and paste it on the low poly model. So you can uh, use the normal maps and texture maps that we are going to create on low poly and on high poly version of this model. So after we uh, exported this model, we open ZBrush and we can go up to Tools and Import and then we then we just look for the OBJ that we just exported and open it. So under tools we can see now that we, we have this uh, shotgun under the tools. We just click and drag on the canvas, click on T on the keyboard to make it editable and we have this nice model imported into ZBrush. Next step is to go down to Subtools and under Split click on Group Split and on OK. This way we have all the subtools in different in separate layers so we can select uh, a single subtool and make some adjustments on it. On it. So next step is to uh, go down to Geometry and shut off uh, the smooth modifier and divide uh, a couple of times your your uh, subtool then we go down to morph target and we save morph target this way we saved uh, the look of this subtool in this stage of uh, modifications so uh, next next step is to apply some scratches or some Intentions, and then if we want to go back to this this state of uh, model, we use the morph brush and we apply it to the scratches, and then we can get back to this look. So first of all, I'm going to use a pen A brush. You can find it on other brushes, and we are going to shut off. RGB and turn on uh, this up. We're going to set this to the lower version, lower value, and 
we are going to make some scratches. I'm not going to make this perfect, just to make uh, this tutorial shorter. So now, if we think that this is too much, we we could use uh, the smooth modifier, but with smooth modifier we would uh, smooth also smooth this uh, this hard parts of this uh, sub tool which we don't want so we call click on B M O so we have this morph brush now selected and now when we apply it we can see the scratches are uh, being set back and we have this nicer version so now the next step is to go up to geometry and go to the lowest subdivision level and under normal maps we click on adaptive and we click on create normal map. Now it's going to take some time to create the normal map so I'm going to pause this video and we see us in a minute. So now we have this normal map created and we click on clone normal map and we can see it's seen in this texture uh, window. But before we export this normal map we go up to the texture menu and click on uh, flip vertically. This way when we import the normal map into 3ds Max it is uh, oriented uh, correctly. So now we click on the texture window and go down to export and we just save as jpeg tiff psd and name it and save it the next step is going to be to uh, polypaint this model so we are going to go back to the geometry and set it to the highest subdivision level uh, then we are going to select uh, material and an appropriate uh, color something like dark brown and we're going to make sure we have mRGB on and we're going to go up to color and click on fill objects so now we have on this uh, selected subtool material and this color uh, baked into this subtool. So now we have this uh, plain brown color uh, on it and we're going to make it more interesting by going down to masking and mask by cavity which means it's going to mask uh, according to the indentions uh, uh, of this subtool so we're going to click on mask by cavity the mask is applied but uh, it is applied to the indentions so we want to uh, color the indentions so we're going to invert the selection by holding control and clicking on the canvas now we can see uh, these uh, indentions are unmasked now we're going to select a darker color and make only RGB and go up to color and fill objects now we're going to hold control and click and drag on the canvas so we are getting rid of this uh, mask and we can see we have all the indentions uh, colored now we could uh, we could uh, make some more adjustments to this uh, to this uh, colors but it's not necessary but just to show you can create some more, more uh, interesting uh, color variation of this model so after we are uh, satisfied with this uh, color and we just go to texture map 
and we under create click on new from polypaint now this uh, texture is created according to the UV that we created in 3ds Max which is important we have to ha have this UV uh, created so then we click on clone texture and it is shown here in the texture window and the same as by normal maps we go to the texture uh, menu and flip vertically and click on texture uh, window and export it as JPEG name it and save it and this is pretty much it uh, uh, in ZBrush so when we go back to uh, 3ds Max we are going to open and select only this back side and we're going to click on M to open this material editor and we're going to go to one of these uh, materials and we're going to select arc and design because we're going to render in mental ray and then we are going to make sure we have under color uh, set this to white and when we click on it uh, we select bitmap and we find our texture map that we created in ZBrush and open it then we go back up one step and the next thing is we are going to use under bump map the same thing but this this time we are going to select normal map and under normal we are going to click and select bitmap and select the normal map that we created in ZBrush open it and apply this material to the selected subtool and as we can see we have this uh, done here and now when we render we get this nice model uh, with some indentions made with normal maps and with some polypaint textures uh, created in ZBrush this is the the quickest version I found uh, so far so I hope you learn something new and you can apply this uh, map to the low poly version and it will look the same so I hope you learn something new and till next time bye